All right, let's just do a quick one tonight. Just a quick, quick couple runs. Well, that's a quick, uh, quick start to a reset. That's all right. Hey, Reggie, how you doing? I ended up falling asleep for a couple hours uh, during the panda stream. Had a really bad headache, and woke up and decided I want to. Do a couple Godzilla runs for a little while, because why not? How'd the panda stream end? Ah, the dishes. It's always fun, right? Godzilla runs the last couple days, but I really feel like I can get into the top three at least tonight if everything goes well. Right. I'd play with him if I had the game. I'm just kind of cheap. At least you got the uh, skin flint reference earlier. gonna do the same thing. No. Oh, he's just got away from him. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were talking about Panda. <laughs> Panda played a locust door wants to help. Yeah, no one ever wants to help with the dishes either. And uh, no matter where I've lived, uh, the dishwasher never quite does a good job cleaning the dishes all the way. Come on, Gazora. Come on, Gazora, don't be this way. Yeah, 
dishwasher always leaves stuff on the dishes. You pretty much have to like pre-wash them, and the dishwasher is basically for sanitizing. The dishwasher is a joke. Oh, he's angry today. Why so angry, McGuire? Have some of that. That'll cool you off. Yeah, the latest Godzilla movies, like the most recent ones, are, are actually really cool. And they went back to making Godzilla absolutely enormous like he's supposed to be. Yeah, no, they're really cool. I liked them. At some point, they're supposed to be integrating King Kong into the newer Godzilla movies, too. Unless they did that, and I haven't seen it yet. Kind of purple things, you cause so much lag. Hey, Paige, how are you? Hope you're having a good night. Ah, oh, we lost a little bit of time there on Earth, but in a game like this, you can... A little bit of time lost is alright. You can make it up later. It's going well, Paige. Tired. Hopefully Oreo didn't give you too tough of a time in Panda's stream tonight. I fell asleep with the computer right in front of me, my little laptop on my bed. It's the only reason I'm doing a late night stream tonight. It's almost midnight. 11.40. He has weird squid movements again. What are you doing all them weird squid movements for, Squidward? I've noticed uh, sometimes you get he razzes uh, uh, Oreo razzes you a bit hard, and then immediately apologizes. But it still doesn't make the razzing okay.
No, it's not. I agree. Come on, Godzilla. Get it together. Yeah, it's not necessary. A, a joke here and there is fine, and I'm I'm all fine with jokes here and there. But it also doesn't immediately nullify an insult or a bad joke or comment when you go, "Hey, you're a jerk." I'm sorry. Like that doesn't that doesn't make it right by dropping a quick "I'm sorry." That's just how I feel about it. Guerra here, on the other hand, is a jerk, and I'm not sorry for telling him he's a jerk. for bullies. And even that, in a kind of way, is a type of bullying. Back in my day... Nah, when I was in grade school, uh, elementary school and middle school, I, uh... I was actually the person who, who bounced back at the bullies, when the bullies would bully people. I didn't necessarily bully them physically ever, because I was never a big guy in school. But, uh... I just used my verbal wits to to outfox him, basically. This is unnecessary for that type of stuff to go on. Oh, I know. I see it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Thought I was a goner. Hated having to use that ray there, but you know, it's better than dying. He does every stream, and yeah, it gets annoying. Yeah, I can I completely understand. I'm going to do what what I can to... You know, I want everyone to get along. And Panda Stream, or my streams... Because Oreo pops in here, too. And Reggie pops in here. Reggie was just in here earlier. So, uh... I don't want, I don't want anyone to have a bad or, or negative time if you're in the channel. Most people come to these stream channels to get away from regular life for a little while and just have fun watching somebody get angry at Squidward for chasing him down on the map. Bad Squidward. Yeah, like, I stream to get away from the day-to-day -day of life. And I watch other people stream, you know, just to, to get away from the normal stuff every now and then. And, you know, it's fun to interact with other people still. Especially with all the the health things that are going on in the world today. This is still at least a way to socially interact. It's funny, I, I told Panda this, he's actually the, the reason I started streaming, because uh, I found out about his stream when he was playing Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, I was I had just joined the Minecraft Dungeons um, Facebook group that he was in, and he was posting about Twitch, and I'd, I never actually used Twitch before, or seen it. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna check out this Twitch. And I actually, when he first played, I was a much higher level than him. When it came out, I played a lot. So... I helped him get started on his game, and then watching the stream over a while, I was like, hey, you know, I'm a pretty outspoken guy. I'm not uh, shy by any means or anything, so maybe, maybe I should give this a crack. So I definitely, definitely credit Panda with me being even on Twitch itself. And I've made some fun friends, especially doing this, the speedrunning stuff like I do. You meet some cool people. But yeah, I'd like to I'd like to see it more mellow in there. You you seem to get hammered every time you go on that stream. 
for some particular reason or another. Most of the time, you all you do is post an emote or something, and that's enough to get it started, which I don't like. I don't like bullies in any form. It's not necessary. My best friend growing up uh, was somebody who was bullied because he was autistic and had, well, is autistic and has a skin disease called psoriasis. Him and I became best friends in seventh grade, or second grade, and he's been my best friend pretty much ever since. And I have an autistic son, so I don't really... My oldest son's autistic. I, don't, I just don't like bullies. There's no need for it. Um... Yes. I think that statement is very accurate. Oh, Squidward went the right way. Thank goodness. They are young. Uh, I've been in their... I try to support all the other streamers that are on Panda's channel and Oreo streams. So, I've been in their stream before and they, they sound very young. Not that that matters, but you know, there's still no excuse for it. If you're old enough to stream on Twitch, you should be old enough to not, you know, to know not to be a, a jerk. I don't mean to say jerk. I, I'm sure Oreo's not a jerk, but doing stuff like that's not really necessary. I, I, I was considering making Oreo a mod in here because I need a mod. Not today, guys. Let me go through. Oh, phew. Those weird squid things can take you out. No, and you do speak up, and it's... Most of the time when you speak up, you end up getting things put on you more. I don't know. Everyone else loves you in there. I mean, I like making my... Oh, no. That was close. I thought I was dead. I like making my jokes and ribbon on everybody, but they're they're purely jokes, and the things that I'm saying are so ridiculous that obviously they're not true. Like when I tell everyone things are for babies, that's that seems to become my punchline joke in there. I play all the games that everybody else plays, so... I don't really think stuff's for babies. Well, I do, but... <laughs> Come on, level, cooperate. You've been so good so far. We're almost at the end of it. Yeah, no, I've already... I sent Panda a private message about it um, the other day that we gotta try and put a stop to it. No, because Panda doesn't really notice, though, to be honest. And that's and I can defend Panda on that one aspect of um, when you're a streamer, especially you know somebody like him who has multiple people in his stream. Um, it's hard to pay attention to everything that's going on in chat and understand the context of it. Well, basically from now on, especially now that I'm a mod in there, if if the stuff gets out of hand or right off the bat, it's just it's timeouts. As silly as it sounds, if you if you're gonna behave like a child, then you get timed out like a child. So that was part of what happened when he made me a mod, because he normally doesn't make regular viewers mods, and I've only been watching Panda's channel now for a month or two. But I understand how the Twitch works, and I definitely don't don't like bullying. Him and I share the same philosophy on that type of stuff. 
no need for bullying or doing any of that stuff. So when I'm in there modding, uh, Muslim dudes a mod as well as I can't remember the other mod right now. Tata Charles, I believe it is. Um, oh, phew! I don't care that it took me a while there, as long as I didn't die. It's just some stuff that's that doesn't need to be happening. Like I said, jokes here and there, you know, if they come out and say one joke and it's it's something goofy and it's not really anything insane, then, you know, you let it slide. But if it starts getting into, hey, you're a jerk, oh, I'm sorry. Like, no, that's not going to fly anymore. Because it even adds more insult to injury when you, you say something you know is jerky and then think it's just going to be okay because you immediately apologize. I don't have a mod in here at the moment because, to be honest, I don't get a ton of a ton of viewers yet. My account's only two months old. I was surprised I made affiliate as soon as I did. A couple well-placed raids help with that. There was one night Panda raided me and a buddy of mine who does Super Mario runs raided me, and it pushed my views up enough to get affiliate, which was really awesome. Come on, buddy, I just need you to die quick. Nope, none of that stuff. None of that arm stuff. At least you waited till the very end to do that arm stuff. So we still have enough time to kill you. Come on! Nope, let me in there. Just one shot. Perfect. Wasn't the best fight, but... It means Squidward won't catch us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. The only reason I haven't asked anyone to mod in here yet is because, one, I know the game I'm playing is kind of goofy right now, so not too many people pop in here to watch it. I'm literally playing this right now because I'm trying to get the world record for fastest uh, speed run of the game. Right now I'm in fifth place, so it's not impossible for me to get. Normally I play Mario 3 and other Mario games like that. But I've liked this game ever since I was a, a young boy, so I wanted to play it. But I don't get t tons of viewers in here while I'm playing it because it's such a different game. Right. I get what you mean. I think the only person that pops into Panda's chat that might be older than I am is uh, Reggie. I don't actually know how old Reggie is. I don't usually ask people how old they are. Right, so definitely lost some time on Jupiter, but not... Not the end of the world. If we stay under a minute loss, I can deal with that. Looks like I might even stay under 30 seconds. Stay out of here, Squidward. Ah, just over 30 seconds. That's not bad. Now we need Saturn to cooperate. Do you think Reggie's around your age? If I had to guess from everything I'd seen in chat, I'd say you were between 16 and 18. You don't have to answer that. That's just me throwing down a guess. Completely irrelevant and it doesn't matter. I'm old enough to be married with five kids, so that's why I call myself the old guy. <laughs> Alright, Mothra, we need you to have a quick death. 
I like Mothra, and Mothra's cool, but we don't need Mothra for speedrun. We need Godzilla. Reggie's cool. I like Reggie a lot. He pops in here every time. I think I'm older than Panda. We could be about the same age, though. He seems like an early 30s guy. Like I said, I don't really bust uh, too much into everyone's personal stuff. You know, when you're getting bullied on a channel, that's not so much a personal life thing for you. That's something everyone can see plain and day. But, like, your age or, you know, if you have kids or whatever, you know, whatever personal life choices you do, that's that's not relevant to, to Twitch at all. Yeah, he's super nice. He was one of my first followers on uh, when I first started streaming. And if you remember TNL Wavy from Panda's channel, who I haven't seen in a while, uh, he was one of my earlier followers too, but like I said, I haven't seen him in forever. Hope everything's alright with him. I see them online on Twitch, so I know they're still active, but I just haven't seen him in Panda's stream in a while, or mine for that matter. boss fight in this to go my way to have this run be any sort of competitive so far everyone's moving where I need them to a little something in this planet one of the bosses looks like a little baby triceratops and he's always a jerk to fight hey wavy speak of the devil I was literally just saying to Paige that I have not seen wavy on in a long time and I hoped everything was alright with you I hope you're doing well how have things been for you no, we were literally just talking about you. I was ho telling Paige I haven't seen you in a while, and I hoped everything was okay. Oh, you were. That shows how much I was paying attention. That's what I get for being an old guy. I get so focused on these speed runs, I forget half of what's going on. Oh, that could have been it. Wavy is a viewer in Panda's chat page. Page is also a viewer in Panda's chat. Wavy. Godzilla, work with me here. I get help, Paige. I gave you some Pokemon. There you go. All right, please, guys, give me some good lucks here that this dinosaur boss fight will go well. It means a, it made such a big difference in this run if I can beat that dinosaur first try. Wish me luck. Stop playing? Just moved on to something else?
can always hook Paige up with some more Pokemon too. I myself haven't played uh, very much either lately. Ever since I got heavy into my speed running here on Twitch. Oh boy. Alright, I'm going to be silent for a minute, guys. I'm not ignoring you. This boss fight's just a pain. Hey, thanks so much for the follow final level. Well, I don't think we're going to save our time here on the planet, but I'm going to keep pushing through the run because... Because I want to. Pizza rolls and chicken nuggets, huh? Hopefully Hedora will at least give us a kind boss fight. I'm going to lose a bit of time having to fight the other bosses on this planet, but I can make it up on the next planet. Chicken Nuggies or Pizza Roll? I would definitely, myself, go with the Chicken Nuggies. The Chicken Nuggies for sure. Alright, let's at least finish this fight quick. Ah, they don't take damage when they're like that. Chicken Nuggies. That would be my choice. Pizza rolls are good, but I, I'm a sucker for the dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. The dinosaur ones, that's right. I said it. I can't deny that pizza rolls are really good, and either one of them I would gladly eat. But dinosaur chicken nuggets, a little splish of salt on them, and some barbecue sauce... You know, and I cook the dinosaur ones in the oven for like a minute past what you're supposed to because they come out perfect. And then just throw a splish of barbecue on them. Then you're talking. Come on, Baron. Why are you giving me such a hard time this fight? And I know the planet was going to take a little while not being able to kill Baragon that quick, but you don't got to be a jerk. Have some kicks in the face. Chicken nuggies with ranch. All right, now... Oh, McGuire didn't come up. Wow. Sweet. So we'll st save a little bit of time. We still skip one boss fight. See, I'm originally from the New England area. And now I'm located down in the southeast of the United States. In Florida. And Florida's a big state. I can say I'm in Florida. Um, and in Connecticut, in New England, I'm from Connecticut... We didn't, uh, you know, like, ketchup is the main condiment up there. When I got down here, people were putting ranch on everything. You go to restaurants, and they're putting ranch on their french fries. They dip their pizza in ranch. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. So down here in Florida where I am, it's ranch on everything. I will say some new fast food places I enjoy since I've moved down to Florida are Chick-fil-A and Zagsby's. Zagsby's uh, chicken is really good. Although during this whole pandemic thing, I have not been really eating fast food too much. Ketchup? Yeah, see, up north we, we catch up everything. And, and me, I'm not a big ketchup fan either. I, I don't mind it on fries or hot dog. But um, my go-to condiment is... Barbecue sauce. This is making my tummy hurt. <laughs> Hungry, are you? I can't believe I still managed to... I know I'm losing time in this planet, but it was. it's really cool that I managed to still skip at least one boss fight. 
normally that one jerk, both the jerks will come fall you. So I could still be on a personal best thing. I, I could potentially get into the top three for world record pace right now if the next couple planets do what they're supposed to do. Are you on East Coast too? So that mean you ate dinner like six hours ago? Or I should say Eastern time. Haha, ha, he didn't catch me. Look at that, we saved 25 seconds, even with having to do the extra boss fight. Alright, this planet is a little, a little goofy in how you have to do moves. I had pizza for dinner too, that's hilarious. I had some Red Baron, uh, Red Baron cheese and pepperoni pizzas. Come on, spaceship, I need you to shoot me. There you go, keep shooting me. This moth or death takes forever. Problem is, I moved a little too far forward. Alright, so I think we're all on the east here. It's definitely easy to tell that Panda is from England somewhere. <laughs> I think he says it on his profile, too. That's another thing I love about Twitch. P you meet people from all over the place. There we go. Bye, Mothra. Yeah, with his accent. Yeah. I don't tell him this, but my my wife likes listening in on my when I'm playing with Panda to hear his to hear his foreign accent. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oops. Oh, you moved the complete wrong way. Oh, I did I did it wrong. Shoot. Alright, I don't know if we're going to be able to make up a ton of time. I'm not resetting. I was supposed to not move there first and let this guy move away from me and then move. So I'm going to have to just bite the bullet here and do this boss fight. We will be here, Wavy. See you when you get back. Shoot, that was my mistake. Well, I still have another planet I can make up a good five minutes on, so this isn't necessarily the end of the world. As long as Gazora doesn't come back and attack me. Okay. Yeah, I'll kill Magora real quick. See, and this is where the chicken nuggets come in handy, Paige, because then you could just go down to the, the freezer and... I mean, I think cooking them in the microwave is barbaric, but you could just throw some in the microwave real quick. Alright. Give us a nice, clean fight today, Maguera. Nice and clean. I'm eating... F <laughs> <laughs> I'll be eating food after I after I finish this Godzilla run for sure. And a cookie. You gotta master the tiptoe, you gotta sneak right by him. That was very weird. a bunch of time this oh okay why do you always have to be such a jerk when we fight 
Every time. Every time. This boss fight gives me the worst headache of all the boss fights. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, sorry, my spam bot thing there. No, you definitely don't want to get your butt kicked. Oh, that was not good. Okay, thank goodness. Come on, please back off me. Come on. Come on. Back away. Come on. There you go. That was close. I thought I was done. I'm still in I'm still in a good position here. I'm not I'm not done yet. This run could still turn into a, a top three run. And I'm not on world record pace anymore. But I can move from fifth to third. Which is my end goal. To get world record on this game, you have to play an exceptionally well game. And a lot of factors have to swing into your favor. Put it this way. The first place run on this game is one hour and four minutes. The second place run is one hour and ten minutes. So there's six minutes between the first and second. That's how well that guy's run one. Alright, we need to pick this fight up quick. That started off sloppy. Come on, guy. can get back. This guy's a jerk. Come on, dude. Nice. Well, I guess we're losing time. I guess we're just gonna have to fight everybody. We'll make up our time. We'll make up our time on Neptune. We have to make up our time on Neptune. Melatonin. Yeah, I'm the same way, uh, Paige. I got a tough time taking medication. Oh, um, Wave, you're referring to the melatonin gummies. <coughs> yeah, those could work. Paige might have a similar issue that I have with medicine, where I actually get, like, a uh, medicine anxiety. I don't know why, and if you are a person who deals with anxiety, you understand that it's something that's beyond your control. Sometimes I get worried about having some sort of weird reaction to medicine. Anxiety stinks. Nobody enjoys it. Alright, so we're going to have to fight Hedora. But we can leave after that. I completely understand that, Paige. Bad Hedora. Yeah, claustrophobic. That's rough, too. You know, what's funny is I didn't actually lose that much time having to fight everybody there. Alright, Pluto. I love Pluto's music. Godzilla doesn't get enough appreciation for its music. Pluto's got some cool tunes. And the big boss of Pluto, Mechagodzilla's got some cool tunes too. You'll also note that Mechagodzilla looks like Godzilla wearing a sweatsuit. Cracks me up. Squidward, you're my best friend in the world. 
Squidward is my best friend in the sea. Mecha Godzilla, though. See him? He's he's over to the right there. He looks like Godzilla, just wearing a sweatsuit. I need you to die quick. I can't have you living. Okay, good. Please let me get through you. God, I hate these things. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna let you ruin my run. Let me through. Darn it. Perfect. Now we kill Mothra. Bye, poor Mothra. See, I keep a box of Chewy Bars in my room. For the quick snack. Chewy bars are filling, they're they're exquisite, and they get the job done. Alright, let's kill Mothra real quick and get a sip. Snack stash. It's a good idea. Alright, so he went there. Godzilla's gonna go up here and fight Gigan again. Let's get it. Let's get it. That was nice and easy. I like when they're quick like that. Right to Gigan. Stay back, dude. I don't need you giving me the razor belly just yet. Come on, nice and quick Gigan fight. Nice and quick. Nope. Back. Back, fiend. Back. No. Back off. Oh boy. He wasn't happy with, with me at that current moment. We snacking. There you go. That's interesting that he just moved three times. Okie dokie. Ow. Bully. I come onto your planet and that's how you treat me? You just shoot me in the face? My goodness. Oh no. You get away from me. You get away from me, Wrecker of Runs. Stay back. Stay back. This game gets so crazy when you get into the later parts of it. There's monster stuff everywhere. I think we're gonna do it, guys. I think we can get in that. <coughs> excuse me. Top three tonight. I think we can do it. It's 
all going to depend on the next planet. Top three in the world would be huge. We're not losing this run. Not to no ray things, not to no volcanoes, not to nothing. Now Hedora should move. Godzilla will move. Mecha Godzilla will come greet us. We'll be on our way. Come on, let me through. Silly things. We have four minutes to beat Mechagodzilla and get off this planet. We can do it. It's really tiny, so it'll be quick through it. Here comes Mechagodzilla. Yeah, we're gonna see, he's gonna look like Godzilla in a sweatsuit. Sweatsuit Godzilla. Come on, buddy. Don't give us the rough fight. That's the rough fight. My goodness, he gave us the business there. right in the jaw. He ain't messing around today. Good grief. Gotcha. Please don't let Baragon come up here. Oh, okay, sweet. We might still make it out of here with, with the time save. Nope. Come on, Godzilla. There we go. Wish me luck, friends.
Come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you can chase me all you want, you baby dinosaur. Look at this. Look at this time save we're gonna have here. We saved a minute 23. No! Shoot, shoot, shoot. Bad. <sighs> I wasn't supposed to do that. I was not supposed to do that. Darn. That might have soiled it. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, I'm so mad at myself right now. Can't believe I just did that. I'm supposed to fight the other guy. This guy doesn't want anything to do with me for a while. Darn, that stinks. sleep. Cannot believe I did that. I'm so mad at myself. God. It's going to haunt me for this run now. not supposed to fight this guy. We're not supposed to be fighting you right now, Hedora. We're supposed to be fighting McGuire. planet just turned to crap on me. Darn it. Looks like we're killing everybody. I still might be able to get the sub-115, so I'll have to see what happens. Maybe we can still save time. I need the little dinosaur to move after this. I need the little dinosaur to move. Um, maybe if we do it this way. try something here and see if I can still save some time. So we got nine minutes to get off this planet. I'd like to get off this planet in like five or six minutes to really save time. Since I blew it. Oh. 
really hope that doesn't kill my chance here. Right up to me. Please move down. Nope. No luck. Shoot. The heck was that? He hasn't done that goofy face thing to me in forever. again. He doesn't take damage when he's doing that either. Goofy face bump it. Well, I should be mad at myself. I I blew this run on my own. Should have already been out of here. Silly mistake. Come on, guy, you can get out of here.
Come on. Here's the end. We might still be able to PB, but we'll see.
on, really? We're gonna lose a uh, we're gonna lose any chance of PV on Planet X because of this. Or we can just lose the run that way. Well, that was rough. That was rough. Alright, I think we're gonna go ahead and call that. I just wanted to do a little run tonight. Nothing too crazy. Thanks everyone for being here. Yeah, did you see that? I blew it on uh, Neptune by accidentally engaging in Hedorah instead of gauging in Magora. Like, I just hit my fingers a little too fast on it. I kind of want to do one more. I do kind of want to do one more. I'm not too... I'm disappointed that I blew Neptune. Like, that put me in a sour mood. I did the... Don't move the first two things. And then, for some reason, I hit Battle on Hedora instead of Maguire. And that pretty much ruined it. Yeah. It wasn't... <laughs> I, was, I had some good splits, too. I had better times than I normally do. I, th I think I'm going to run one more. That was my first run. And it got that far, so that's actually that's not too bad, considering. Let's do one more. Now I'm a little juiced. So I'm a little... I can't believe I did that on Neptune. And what's weird is with that run is I was I was on okay pace and Saturn didn't work out for me either. And I blew Uranus by engaging uh, Gazora faster, so still just simple mistakes. It's worth probably taking the couple seconds off to uh, to not press the button so fast and make sure I'm getting the right inputs. Oh, this is terrible. Usually Mothra's dead by 45. Won't be making up time on Earth. Did you do any more runs, Colonizer? Oh, okay. Any good runs? God, do I hate these things so much. Woo! That's oh, delightful. That's just what I wanted to have happen. Really? No, 
That was ugly. I never get too bothered by a, a run, like, if I actually die, like, to a boss like that. It's much worse for me if a run gets killed by, like, Azora pinning me in a freaking corner. Which he, he did on Planet X. I don't know if... I think... I'm pretty sure he did. I had to re-enter into that battle. Or did I catch him in time? Then Hedorah killed me with a... Yeah. Yeah. That's just how... That's... I've learned with Godzilla here that that's the nature of the beast sometimes. Sometimes you can have something... Like, I blew that last run on my own. That was completely me. I ruined it on Uranus, and I blew it on... I blew a bad on Neptune. How do you lag monsters? Take your lag somewhere else. I don't know if I'm going to be able to be sub 5 still. I think so. Let's see how smooth this goes. I didn't kill Mechagodzilla on Pluto either. That that bummed me out. At least at least I was able to crush him real quick next time and not have um, Baragon move up and try and screw it over. I didn't kill Baragon first on. I had something weird happen on Saturn. Normally, when I don't kill Baragon, I end up having to fight um, Maguire and Varen. But this time, I didn't kill him, and only Varen came up. And then Maguire didn't move the next turn. The early Mothra. It works, and it keeps everybody trapped on bottom. You really only have to deal with... I mean, at that rate, what? You're killing Gazora, Varen... Um, oh, I should just be raying these guys. What the heck am I doing? I'm wasting time. Um, Gigan and Mechagodzilla. Alright, don't move down like a fool. I just like when he comes straight into the jaw. Come straight into the belly of the beast, Gazora. Make your quick, nice, and kill. Quick, nice, and kill. Kill nice and quick. Ugh, that was sloppy, too. It's hard for me on this particular game when I'm speedrunning, because on, like, Mario 3 speedruns, if you've ever seen any, uh, like, five or six seconds loss on a split, and the run's dead. And on this game, I've accepted that you could have 30 seconds off on a split, and the run's still not dead because RNG can bounce back in your favor. Oh, I thought I was going to catch that. Just the tippy do. Gotcha. Nice and early kill for you. Don't be selfish. Get out of here. There you go. Have some punches, a little kick in the eyeball. Baron, you do what you're going to do. Last time, Gazora did a bunch of weird movements on Mars. Shit. 
Ray, not today. I wasn't going to run tonight, originally. But I had fallen asleep around 7pm 7, 7 my time. And then woke up and then saw your runs and I was like, ah. I got the Godzilla itch by, by seeing your runs. This run I dedicate to you, Space Colonizer. I get out of my way. <laughs> Cause it's it's almost 1 a.m. my time, but after taking that couple hour nap. Felt refreshed. Told the missus I was going to stream, and she said, "Good idea." No, you get out of here, Ray. Yeah, immune. Immune was in here the other day, actually. It's it's cool. I love seeing that this game's not dead. Because I tell my my Mario three speed of buddies about it. First, most people's reactions, that I'm sure you may be familiar with, is I've never heard of that game. To which I say, how have you not heard of this game? It's This was one of my favorite games to play on NES when I was a kid. It really was. It's one of the few games I've probably beaten as many times as the Mario games. I loved it. It was just so different from all my other games. I thought the way the level system was was really neat. Just, oh no, no, come on. Woo! <laughs> I saw my run flash before my eyes. <laughs> oh, I hate those harpy things. Stinked having to use my ray there instead of there, but... Oof. Get out of here. With your nonsense. Really? Embarrassing me in front of my friends. Get out of here. Get out of here, Baron. Yeah, they are Harveys. Just scoundrels. I know they have an actual name in the Godzilla lore, I just do not remember it. I watched a lot of these Godzilla movies growing up. My grandfather lived with us, so I got to see a lot of the, the cool old Godzilla movies. He's actually the one that bought me this game. Well, I don't think we're going to save time. But we didn't really lose a tremendous amount of time either. Fire Dragon? Yeah, that works too. Whatever they are, they have the capability to soil a run. And I have lost runs. I just lost that last run to them. And I'm not that disappointed, to be honest. I'm so mad at myself for the player mistakes I made. Yeah, we're going to be plus like 15, 20. That's alright. 13? Ah, we'll take it. Is 
see if Azora wants to cooperate. Come on, Squidward. Cooperate. Fifty percent of the time he goes up when I do it this way, and fifty percent he goes down. But the way I finish off the rest of the planet is why I move Godzilla 2 to start. If he comes down, we'll just kill him. Alright, you're gonna have to die. I'm not abandoning ship this early. Not when there's still so much time to make up on uh, Uranus and Neptune. I could shave off so much time. Neptune wants so bad. I literally fought everybody but Gazora on Neptune. That's how bad it went. Just by making that one mistake. Nobody did what they were supposed to do. Fought Hedora, killed Hedora, Varen came up and fought me. Like, it was just a mess. be an asshole. You're gonna make me reset. Hmm? You gonna be that guy? Alright, maybe not. Maybe. God damn it. Oh, come on. Piss off. That was hideous. Hideous fight. Be sweet if Baragon cooperated, because I'd save that time on Saturn, too. You can't count on Baragon for anything. Except to be a jerk. My Neptune fight with Baragon, he did the goofy face thing three times. I haven't had him do that in a run since I started speedrunning this, literally. And then he does it three times in one fight. Why you gotta be like that? Hmm? It's rude. Just being rude now.
I'll make quick, quick, quick work of you. Give me a break. Not today, game. I'm gonna die to all this bull crap. Might. Oh. <laughs> beautiful. Alright. I didn't want to do a ton tonight. We had one fun run. I'm in the spirit. Oh. Well, normally I skip Gazora. On the world record fight, he does the same pattern I do, but he gets Gazora to move up, which happens to me like 50% of the time. But then he runs directly up the middle and plows them all out. The world record pace is where I got that strat on Pluto from. And then everyone does the same strat on Neptune. You pretty much have to. Until you blow it and go to fight Gazora. But sometimes I found the effort into skipping certain monster fights doesn't particularly yield crazy results. But then again, I'm still at an hour 22, so there's definitely time to make up. I mean, on my segments now, I could be at an hour 19 if they played through right. I don't know if I want to do one more. I think I will. I wasn't gonna. Well, in Saturn. I follow the same strat he does on Saturn in the world record run because it makes sense. I get you. Yeah. And they could be. I'm in the same boat as you where I'd love to see a sub one hour. Because if you can make... Because on the Jupiter strat, like I was saying, if you could do it your way and have it skip faster than he does, you could you might be able to get it to that sub one hour. For sure. I'd love to see it. He's had that record now for what, four years? Sub hour would be awesome. Yeah, four years. Time to dethrone the king. This will be my last run for tonight, though. So let's make it a good one. You get away from me, you squid things. God, do I hate you guys so much. I hate when those brains catch you and bring you back in. Or when your ray breath does nothing here. Sometimes it does just what you want it to, and sometimes it doesn't do anything. Yeah, you back into that corner. Bad Gazora. Well, that wasn't terrible. 
Could have got better if I didn't get that whip and hit him with the tail like I should have. Nose to nose, baby, let's dance. You're out of here. Nope, we are going to move. Now my first run I ever did of this, my 134, I didn't, uh, I didn't look at any of the strats that anybody did. I just ran it like an- the only thing I realized was that you have to kill Mothra. So, I killed Mothra. But I didn't do any, like, strats as far as what anybody else was doing, because I just wanted to get my feel back for the game. 122 pace, I started using some strats. That made sense. Like Saturn. Makes complete sense to do that. We might be able to come out of here with a little time save. I don't know. Let's see how well this goes. Right. I did the same thing with Mario 3. Now I gotta get a run put together, a recorded run, and submit it. Ow! That did not help any. Hey, let's save some time and then get knocked back. Let's remember that we just raid through these first two. Done this run enough times. And then like you, I like trying to mess around, you know, with my own strats too. Maybe find a, a way to make up a time save. Sometimes I evaluate skipping if skipping a boss is worth going through, you know, like all the movements to do so. In certain cases, like on Saturn. If you can get that Baragon kill, then yeah, it's 100% worth it to skip two boss fights. Come on. I think we can break the sub hour. Fifty-nine minutes, man. Even if it's fifty-nine, fifty-nine. Come on up, Squidward. There's still a lot of RNG to experiment with. It's definitely different, like, Mothra movements and Godzilla placements that change where these Muppets move. I'd like to figure out how to make Gazora do that four movement, because I've seen that. I've seen him do that. He hasn't done it in my runs, but over the years that I've played this game, I've seen him do his big movements. I've only ever seen Gazora do it. Piss off. Stupid brain things. Go back. Mars? Okay. Come on, dude. You got like three punches left. Let's take him in stride. not play Mars like shit this time.
Yeah, Mars is brutal. I'll move Godzilla and Mothra the same way every time. And Gazora will do something different almost every time. Usually it's one of two different things, but it's always... It's never the same thing. Earth is completely controllable. And then same thing with Jupiter. I know you have a route that controls where Gazora moves with the movement of one, but I can get him to do the same movement on a movement of two, but it's not consistent. So those are like the runs I have to capitalize on when he does cooperate. Forget you, man. With your, with your stupid rays. If this is the fight you want to have, I don't have a tail fight. I don't have a tail fight. That's the way you want to be, you big baby. I get you. You're talking about the narrow paths in the beginning of Mars? Yeah, that makes sense. Plus, I th also think, you know, they, there's... In the beginning there, you still have Mothra in play, too. So, I know, you know, you and God Godzilla and Mothra's positions on the maps determine how the RNG behaves, too. Because then they have... You know, the computer has to roll the dice on who it's going to move towards. Make it quick. Get it over with. Dance around that stupid thing. Ech. Going in here with low life. Just do a tail fight, not have to worry about eating so much damage. I ain't the prettiest, but we'll take it. Have you figured out a way to, like, completely skip a boss fight on Mars? Like, is there a way to skip Gazora? Or Morgara or any of them? Ooh, I'm really low on life. Jeez. I have to wait a minute here. God, come on, I had you. Shoot. Turn out bad here. Oh, I needed you to give me some life. There we go. Take a little time off, but don't die. It's worth it to me. It's a little scary there for a second. That was worth it. 11, 12 seconds to not die. Alright, I'll see you this time. We'll see if Squidward cooperates.
Come on, Squidward, give us what we need. Even if he comes down, I'm gonna push, push the run on. Two fight skip, yeah. Who's it now? Is that Gazora and Magora? That you're going for skip on? Come on, Squidward. Now he came down again. Whatever. I want to keep going. Ah, oh, that was some crap right there. Good grief. What the heck? Two fight skip would be sweet. I might have to change my strat to on Jupiter or something similar to yours. For Jupiter. This one's just too inconsistent. If the one step forward guarantees Squidward moves up, then I think I'm just gonna have to switch to oh. You can kiss off. I think I'm just gonna have to switch to that. Come on, don't be a jerk. Come on. Wow. What the hell? That was just ugly, ugly, ugly. If I can get the things I need to cooperate to cooperate, I can still at least PB on this. And then go from there. I'd be happy with a PB tonight. Just wants to give you a little scratching, that's all. Just a little scratching. See you later.
Ah, oh, piss off. What the hell? Come on, stupid thing. Really? That's, that's gonna help on the time loss. Oh, that's gonna help too. <laughs> Stupid fine thing. Come on, Adora, let's play. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, you shitty hands. Kick in the face. Alright, so the... Definitely fight Gazora costs us time. But I can literally save minutes if Saturn... If I... Saturn cooperates, so basically Baragon, and Neptune, I don't blow it on Neptune. I lost a lot of time there. you Squidward. Oh, we can make it up. Please, Saturn, do what you're supposed to do.
let me through. There you go. Oh, bastard. You bastards. You little spaceship bastards. It's the longest moth of death in history. This one is definitely the worst one. Well, Planet X is pretty bad, too. Wow, oh, that was a somewhat slightly okay Gazora fight. Yeah, Planet X is awful for killing him. Or her. Ah, oh, Ray Breath. Don't just vanish into one rock. Eh, equally as bad. for just one time for Paragon to do what Paragon's supposed to do and just die in one fight. He's so sweet. Yeah, I've only successfully done that strat with him dying in the first fight once. So it'd be really sweet to be able to do that again. We'll find out. Yeah, I have problems with him. I might just change back to beating him up with my tail. Every time I do it for face kicks, he just keeps standing up and doing his stupid crap. The fight when I actually took him, I willed him with my tail. Seems like Tail almost hits him twice, too, like for every tail swing. I don't know. When I was a kid, I used to beat him up with the tail, too. I don't know why I started going to the face with a, with a boot. Plus, Tail hits him when he's standing up in the, the beginning of his ray. Alright, come on, buddy. We'll, I'll save a bunch of time on this planet if he dies first fight. I know Tail does the most DPS, but it has a longer, uh, like, cool, like, cycle time.
Yeah, it is a bit slower. Got him. All right. Let's see if he cooperates. Right to it. It's right to be in a piece of crap. Oh, God. It's already ugly. This is what he does to me. So we're not saving time on Saturn. This is hideous. Holy crap. This is the RNG I get with him. Yeah, we're, we're not saving time on Saturn now. That's okay. The big time saves that I can really use are still not blowing Uranus and uh, Neptune. Neptune would be so big for me. Stick your stupid flipper up your butt. Damn you, Hedora. Nobody's got time for your dumb flipper. Smog arm. Now some of Godzilla's foot. That's what you deserve. <clears throat> I kick him. I feel like it takes a little longer, but, uh... He dies, and you don't really have to deal with that arm as much. Now, why couldn't you cooperate like this the first fight? Sweet. Now, last time this happened, only Varen came back, and Maguire did not. So I don't know if I can repeat that. At least, you know, save me the headache of having to fight one of these idiots. No, you're not going to start pinning me in the corner with your bullshit. Get back. Beautiful. I hope he doesn't come back. See? I, I'll take that. Baragon again. I have no problem with this fight on any other planet. Oh shit, I didn't even see that thing there. That was weird. Did you see that ray come out? That was weird. Yeah, I really need to not blow it next planet. What I forgot to do was skip. Don't you move Mothra to the middle, kill Mothra on the spaceship, and then skip Godzilla's first turn, right? And then move past Gazora. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I want to do the right strat on there. I know there's only one right way to do it. I think you skip the first turn to let Varen move, and then bring Godzilla out. After you kill Mothra. I know kill Mothra first. Uranus. Next next planet. I know it's move Mothra up one to the left one and then kill her on the spaceship. And then Gazora comes down to Godzilla. And the mistake I made last time was moving Godzilla first instead of letting him... I think you're supposed to let him wait a turn for Varen to move. So Varen goes over to the left. Right. Okay, thank you. That was my mistake I made last time, and Varen came right over. 
Oof, boy. I really better not blow it on Neptune if I'm going to have this run safe. Saturn did not do me any favors. Wow. Gold at plus 118, jeez. Okay, so Mothra. Come on, fingers. Kill Mothra on this blasted spaceship. It's a terrible way to kill her. It's like the only Mothra thing you can't do a sip on. Yeah, kill Maguire first so Baragon engages. Right. Now we don't move Godzilla at all. Squidward comes down. Okay, now we can go up. Because Maguera should go over to the left underneath Gigan now, right? Might still be hope for me yet. Perfect. Now we go up and challenge Maguera. No. Yes. Okay. That was what got the better of me on Neptune, is just how fast I clicked where Maguera and Hedora are stacked above each other. Just like a fool, I just mashed on the fight with Hedora, and it cost me. It definitely killed that whole run. Yeah. Until I can get it down packed, you know, to where I can just mash fingers quick and know what I'm doing. Because that's the same thing with, with Mario 3 speedruns, if you've ever seen any, like, when they navigate the items menu for power-ups, they can do that stuff without even looking, because they know where every item is placed on the menu. It's like, I can't do that crap. I'll accidentally do something silly. I've ruined runs by accidentally blowing a warp whistle. Get out of here. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. What the hell was that? He's such a little asshole to me. Again. Jesus Christ. He's gonna blow this whole run for me. I can move after No, Hedora moves after him. I don't remember. Yeah, is it not engage in a fight with him? Come on down, Gigan. Thank you. 
no, how? <sighs> I gotcha. Move right underneath Geigen. Yeah, this whole run just turned to shit. Man. So now what? Hedora's gonna come down, or Varen? Hedora. He still takes a pretty good amount of damage from the foot, too. Yeah, we saved no time. So now I'm pretty sure Gazor is going to come up and then... Ugh. Oh, if they do, I'll probably just call it a night. I don't know if the time save on... Neptune will be even enough to make up for it. Zora won't reach me. I think he will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can reach me. If he can, then I'll, I'm just going to call it a night. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Baragon strikes again. I might down download a ROM of this so I can do some practice runs on uh, on the computer for the fights. Be nice if neither of them moved right now. Oh, he did take the long way. Wow. Good call. We're not dead yet, then. Not only did he take the long way, but he stopped after one. Oh, don't... Yeah, I gotta turn off that stupid Steam Lab spot. I am not offended by you calling him shit for parades. <laughs> That was a stupid move on his part. Dumb Streamlabs bot. At least in this level, we're so powerful now that the dumb boss fights get real easy. Except when they do stupid Squidward shit. The hell out of here. Get away from me. I hit the ray button and it didn't even do anything. No, I can't have you do this to me, dude. We need you to die quick. Thank you. Now you go. Get away from me. I love Pluto's music. It's probably my favorite in the game. Cooperate with me, you stupid thing. Ah, oh, kiss off. I think if 
the rays start. Yeah. Stupid. Stay down there. Let's go beat up Gaiden. Alright, so Neptune, it's no move for two moves. Move Godzilla down and challenge Maguera, not Hedorah. Right? Talking Neptune. So I don't blow it this time, I want to just have it in my head. No move two. Then move down. Challenge Maguera, not Hedora. Or do I not challenge either of them? Ah, oh, no problem. Appreciate that. No, you're not going into two fights with us this time. memory serves me right, I think it's no move to challenge Maguera. Godzilla 0, Godzilla 0, Godzilla 2, don't attack. Okay, so don't attack either of them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And then I know when I fight Gigan, I have to leave him with just a smidgen of life, so he runs away like a baby. So that, yeah, because it's engage Gigan, beat Gigan down, then engage Mechagodzilla and kill him. Oh, that was a terrible breath. My goodness. Yeah, kill Mothra after Baragon moves the first time. You ain't gonna make it, Baragon. Baragon thinks he's slick sneaking up on me like that. He thinks he's gonna come hustle. He's got nothing. We got no time for you, Ray. I don't care about wasting the breath. It'll be charged in time for us to get back here. Uh, this run might still be able to become something. I'd, I'd love a sub-120. Even a, a 115 would be cool. I don't know if that's attainable with how much time I've lost, but it would be cool. Aw, oh, come on. Give me a break. Back to more stupid movements. Hopefully we can cream Mechagodzilla in one fight. No, 
I hit the ray button. Give me a break. Come on, game. a good clean fight, huh? Gonna kick your face in. Mecha Godzilla's not a big fan of getting his face kicked in either. Yes! One and done. Let's get the hell off this rock. That, oh, jeez. Do nice and then I end up playing just junk there. No, I found kicking Hedorah in the face. As long as you keep jumping up and down, can sometimes go right through that arm flop he does. And same thing with Mechagodzilla, kicking him in the face. He doesn't seem to care for that too much. But you gotta keep jumping or else his ray blasts just knock you back. general, but let's see if I save time on my normal split here. So at least tell me. Yeah. 15 seconds shorter than normal. Alright, so not going to move. Yes. Not going to move. Yes. Now don't fight either of these Muppets. Just go straight down to them and say no. No. Okay. Hopefully I did that right. Hopefully that was correct. This is my only planet where I have a chance to save time. Like, major time. Okay. Right, no attacking Hedora at all. We want to bypass him kind of like uh, Varen on Saturn. We just want to walk right by him.
dude. Get out of here. Alright, so we're not attacking. Little Muppet should move right. Oh no, okay, so. Pass to Dora. No. No. I wonder why I pulled that up again. That was weird. I must not have hit A fast enough. Piss off. I like when I get hit by that phantom shit. On invisible bullets from the spaceships up above. Now we kill Mothra. This death's a pain in the butt, too. Come on, just missed every one of them. Move Godzilla 2 and attack Gigan, right? Oh, uh, don't attack Gigan? So don't attack anybody? And then don't finish off Gigan. Don't attack Gigan. And definitely don't attack Mecha Godzilla. So just like that, right? This makes it so Baragon doesn't come back and fuck with us, right? Just remember not to ray Gigan towards the end of the battle so we don't accidentally kill him. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can save some time. Even if I don't get a huge time save, I'll be happy to at least have done this planet strat right. Oh, Jesus. Get out of here. Oh, you gotta take more damage than what we've done to you, though, buddy. Fight Godzilla, right? Alright, Mecha, Mecha Godzilla, right? Yes. I need to kill him quick, though.
Come on, fuck off. Woo! So Gigan should leave like a big baby, right? Yeah. I'm a baby and I'm leaving the planet. See you, Gigan. I'll see if I can get Jupiter locked and not die here. Alright, there we go. Get a little ray going. There we go, so we can get health out of you. I know if those things have a little ray in their eyeball, you pretty much guaranteed to get health out of them. Alright, well that was excellent. And that's going to shave a couple minutes off. So next run, if I don't blow... If I don't blow Saturn as bad, and Uranus, Uranus kind of went to hell. Then we, we start getting in, into a good position. I think I'm going to PB this run. Probably won't be big, but it'll be something. Thank you, dude. That was awesome. 250. I'm just going to go about Planet X like I normally would. I literally just drive it right up the middle. Thank you. I've never tried to skip a boss fight on Planet X. I think you can skip Gazora, but... I think the time spent trying to dance around it, it's just easier to... kick his ass. Oh, not today. Thanks for the good luck. Let's get a PB. Let's get a PP. When do you kill Moth or at the end doing that? Doing it that way? I gotcha. I'll have to try that next strat. This time I was going with what I did last time. The other lower Tesla dish? Yeah. Because Zora locks him, I'm gonna be so mad. Looks like he's gonna. 
Come on, dude. Just go off me for a second. Oh, phew. <laughs> Stupid squid. Yeah, I'll definitely look into the skipping him. It's not really worth the risk of getting locked by him. I love how fast the ray refills when you're on Planet X. It's so awesome. Fly Mothra a little further. All right. Noted. Piss off. Oh, I definitely will. Definitely. I'm certainly not against uh, strats at all. Save, shave time off and give Godzilla a chance for healing. Especially when he's over there dealing with Ghidorah. Ghidorah's got a kickable face too. I mean, for me, I, I like killing Mothra that early because it keeps all of them stacked up in the corner. You now, the only one who comes out is Gazora because he moves twice. But if skipping fights can save some time too, so there's always that. Stand there like an idiot with your stupid face. Oh, yeah. By the way, I don't know if you get to skip Farron though, because he kind of comes right up into your face anyway. But the, the, these fights go pretty quick when you have, you know, the Ray Breath charging as fast as it does. Especially on somebody like Varen, where it does more damage the further you're away. Doesn't really work on Gazora that way, but it works on him. That was disappointing. Ah, oh, piss off.
can't really do a full hop when you're kicking him, though. You almost gotta kind of go right for the face. Plus, I kind of just like kicking him because he's a jerk. Come on over, Muppet. Jesus, two of them in a row. Why do you always gotta give me such a hard time, even here on Planet X? Piece of shit. God damn. I hate Paragon so much. Every fucking time. Just a piece of shit, no matter what planet I'm on. Piece of shit. Costing me any sort of PB with your dumb bullshit. Now nah, fuck off. Piece of junk. The hell off me. Oh my god. Are you joking? Fuck off and die. That was weird. Oh. Did I not lock him? Stupid. Yeah, you stay there, you big baby. How did I not- why did I do that? I don't know why I'm tapping right that little bit.
Come on, you damn gate. Don't be an asshole. Don't be that guy. This is a sweet Ghidorah fight. Come on, don't leave me like this. None of you fuckers are gonna give me any health. There you go. There you go. Be nice. Let me finish the game off. Let me get a sub 120. That'd be sweet. Let's get a sub 120. I'll be so happy with that. From 134 just a couple weeks ago. And there we are. 118. Another four minutes off. Thank you. We're getting there. We're only running it for a little over a week now, 134 to 118. I think it still leaves me in fourth, or fifth, but I don't think start cracking in the top three until it's below 115, right? I think second's 110. And I know where the time saves are. Fourth of 114. Yeah, so it's got to start cracking below 114th to even get there. Because I know I'm fifth right now, which I'll still be in fifth, but I'll still submit this. I'll still submit it because it's still a bump. Second's 110, and then first is 104. 104 flat. I think we can crack sub an hour. I think we can do it. <sighs> I at least give the credits their chance to run out. Surprised the old NES held up. Normally when it starts getting hot like this, it gets all pixelated. And 
then maybe we'll go back to Mario 3. I guess my copy of Mario 3 from 1990 just has a big gaping hole in it, and it doesn't affect any any way about the game. <laughs> I forgot what I dropped on it when I was a kid. Yeah. Well, if you think that's funny, my Super Mario Bros. 2 also has a hole, almost, almost in a similar spot, from a similar incident. I don't know. I'll have to check after I, after I reset this. A previous segment, I was plus 146, but I'll have to check what some of best is after I save these splits. I'll do it right after I let these credits run through. Normally when I get to this part in the game, the NES is so hot that the middle letter of everybody's name isn't a shape anymore. It's just like a block. Ah, oh, Ghidorah, you bastard. So I'll save these splits and then I'll check some of best and we'll see what we're at. One eighteen, what a jump. The end. Alright, so we got what we wanted to there. Let's save splits. We'll update the splits. Some of best right now looks like one fifteen oh two. One fifteen oh two is what I could get for Planet X given my current splits. Oh you can see them on there, yep. Yeah. My best on Earth being 452. I know I can shave a little bit off Mars. Saturn, for sure, I can shave time off. Uranus, we know we can shave time off, because you were here. That was one of my better runs, and it still went like crap. Neptune, I don't know if I'm going to get any better than the split I had on that. And then Pluto's, you know, Pluto's pretty much Pluto. And then Jupiter, if I change to how you're doing it, to get Gizora to move permanent, you know, skip Gazora with the one move on Godzilla, then we'll probably go for that. But, alright. Let's see if there's anybody on. Do a little raid action on here. It's a little baby raid, but we'll still do it. See if any of my buddies are on. Yeah, I got the perfect person to raid. Alright, you have a good evening. Oh, hang on. We'll raid another fellow speedrunner of mine. I think he's doing Mario 3 right now or something. Yeah, take care.